What is going on everybody? This is TGA and in today's video we revisit Hinkley Point nuclear power station in Somerset. So this place has a civil nuclear constabulary. Um, basically a private police force that's nationwide, like British Transport Police really. They operate across the UK's nuclear sites. But we have visited this site before as mentioned. Uh, we came here a year ago, so it was December 2021. It's now December 2022 and we've re revisited with Exposed and Educate. Uh, we've seen a lot more of this site including the A site, uh, B site and we've seen a lot more of the C site with the new reactor being built there. Which wasn't, I'd, well I, I'd run at night but you would have seen it, it would have been lit up like, as they say lit up like Crystal Palace. But um, yeah this is Hinkley Point nuclear power station. I uh, hope you like the shots at the beginning. The A site was originally built in 1957, then it was commissioned in 1965. It began on B site on the September the 1st, 1967, and it was first commissioned Unit B1 on the 30th of October 1976. Unit B2 was commissioned in February 1976. Uh, it, Unit B1 was officially shut down on uh, August 1st 2022 along uh, with B2 which was shut down in July the 6th 2022 it is expected to be completed the shutdown by EDF Energy in 2028. The current Hinkley Point C site which is under construction began in 2017. Uh, we've heard a few rumours of when it may be completed over the next they said some one person said two years, three years, four years. You know, it's a, it's a bit of an estimation of when a seaside may be finished. A lot of these things get put back. It had already been delayed before. Um, obviously, a lot of people have had concerns over places like this for health and safety. Uh, nuclear disasters are catastrophic, as we've seen with Chernobyl, Fukushima. So I, I had to ask the questions about safety procedures to prevent a nuclear disaster at this site. So yeah, make sure to also check out Expose and Educate. Fantastic guy. Uh, great bit of banter he does. And his fantastic videos, check him out. And enjoy the video. Forgot to mention, tell me what you think of the new intro. Uh, just something I've put together. Um, the old one's pretty good with the 3D animation with the camera, but you know a few people are saying it looked more like an advert. So yeah, tell me what you think. I think it looks pretty, pretty interesting. No, yeah. tell me your opinions. Um, I might change it back. Might not. Don't know. We'll see. Enjoy. What is going on, everybody? This is TGA. Uh, we are at Hinkley Point. And I'm with Expose and Educate. He's having he's a, he's having a pee at the minute. <laughs> but uh, we just saw the nuclear police go by. They just waved to us as well. They literally waved to us. My camera wasn't on at the time. They just they just waved. So they might turn around. I don't know. So we'll uh, pick this back up in a minute. Okay. Just passing a wonderful place. Bunbrook. Bunbrook. <laughs> so uh, What a name, eh? Today I hear you asking, well, we're in the West Country and we're just approaching Pinkley Point. I've never been here before, but the, the young man with me has. Mm -hmm. So uh, I will introduce him when we get further into the video. Come on, we get there. Start doing what we do. Point bus has come in. We're getting a bit closer. We're seeing some of these signs. It is prohibited for any HPC worker to use this lay-by. Failure to adhere to this will result in disciplinary action taken against offenders. One of the reasons we haven't parked up here. No. <laughs> Plus, CNC would literally run you red anyway. So. so I don't know if you can hear this young man's voice. 
You might know him from his voice. Let's see if they're coming back. I thought they might have been coming back. Uh -huh, that's me. Probably HPC traffic. So we're just approaching Kingsley Campus. Host your Kingsley Somerset Kingsley home. Just oh yeah. There. Got it on his right arm, nice and clearly displayed. There he is. We're gonna have a look in here. Don't know how far we can get. This is a protected site as well, this, this is under section 128, the Serious Organised Crime and Police Act. So we can, we're not going to go past any barriers or anything. No, that would be a bit foolish. There's a few signs around anyway. We can go up to it, as long as we don't go past it. Should say as well, where the uh, signage is. Yeah, good, thanks, mate, you. Badged. No, badge. no. Yeah. Oh, I've got loads of badges. Know. What one do you want to AAP. see? Are you part of the project? AA badge? Yeah. We're part of our project. Yeah, our own project. Okay. <laughs> you cannot co come on today. Yeah, oh, no, we've got no, we got no intention of coming on. Signs, don't worry. Okay. Okay. Um, how many does this house? How many? Yeah, roughly. 510. Oh, really? That's pretty precise. <laughs> 510. 510. I, I heard as well, they were supposed to be housing more staff for Hinkley Point up at um, Breen as well, up at Pontins in Breen. Not that. No. No? Not, it's not information that we have. Okay. Right. Okay. okay. No worries. It's just something we've heard. So we, we're only down here today doing a documentary on the place. Okay. People are interested. Mm -hmm. um, my colleague was down here a year ago and it's... Uh, and it's changed quite it's changed a lot quite since then. So it's yeah. an update really. Oh, um, fair enough. 510 and and what is it is it just like it's an accommodation campus no but i mean is it like a small flatlet or is it a it's just it's just like a bed and a like toilet a hotel. Oh, oh is it uh, oh, okay. it's like a high-end hotel really a high-end so hotel all the facilities that you would you would find in a in a high-end hotel brilliant oh, well, fantastic gotta be comfortable yeah. and and is it like a rolling thing so that people come and go and then somebody else would move in or, or are they long term Pretty much a lot, I guess, a long term. Right, anyway. wow. Yeah. It's interesting to know though. Excellent. Perfect, huh? Right. I've got to say, very professional, you got your SIA badge on display as well. Yeah, have to. Ah, that's it, that's good the way. Thank you very Perfect, well thank You're you very much, man. The, uh, the industry. Thank you. Cheers, have a good day, mate. You too. Hey, what a nice chap. He's a lovely chap, wasn't he? Was he actually G4S? Because I couldn't tell from his fleece. I'm not sure. All I know is he's security. Because he's I... got G4S stuff there. I'm, th right? I'm guessing he is, yeah. Well, that's most unusual for G4S, so credit to him. Definitely. So he's got the facilities here. Look, so we've got tennis courts and... Tennis courts, five-a-side football. Wow. Um, obviously, if you're going to have high-end hotel accommodation, Definitely. then you're going to want to do something with your downtime. Hmm. So, okay, onwards and upwards. Onwards and upwards. Yeah, he was very pleasant, very professional. Oh, very much so. This is a bit disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, even if the CNC do come out, they, you know, they are likely to be professional. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't well, expect anything bad from them. So, but yeah, it's another gate year entrance to the site for, for stuff. So this way. Are you still recording? I am, yeah. Okay. I won't swear then. <laughs> I'm just going to say how extremely Please do not swear, what's it? Uh, yeah, how extremely cold it is. You alive, please do not swear. <laughs> so we've got no unauthorised dropping off. And uh, welcome to HPC. So this is South Clark. Ah, so here's the... the uh, the start of the restricted area starts, I think, where the, the um, protected site, as you can see. This is a protected site under Section 128 of the Serious Organised Crime Police Act 2005. Trespass on this site is a criminal offence. So there's the site there. 
massive though. So if you pass these gates, you're literally committing a criminal offence. Look at all that. It's a lot of work taking place here for Hinkley Point C. It's insane. Loads of work over the back. Then if my camera will pick that up. It's insane. Yeah, South Plaza, building better energy together, EDF. There's a coach coming in yet. Look at all this equipment though. It's insane. No drone zone. TJ's shown me on his app. It's about, I believe it's like five miles around around the site. They've got a restricted a restricted area, CAA restriction. Five miles. Wow, that's huge. It's like so. It's almost like it's almost like an international airport restriction they've got around this. Yeah. But then again, it's a, a lot of these nuclear power stations. If not all of them, have got flight restriction zones around them. I mean, for obvious reasons, really. It's a nuclear site. I imagine like the nuclear power would probably interfere with uh, the drone anyway. Yeah, you wonder if they've got that facility to knock it out of the sky. Perhaps. Especially as it's part owned by the Chinese. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this place is part owned by the Chinese. It's quite a concern. It's a huge concern going forward when you think that it's energy de Francais Mm. and the Chinese, so if ever we fall out with either of those... Yeah, it's not going to be good for us. You know, what we're going to do, guys? Hansen. That's insane, though, look. You can see the reactor over there, though, look. That's, I believe that's the reactor over there, isn't it? Is that the reactor over there? Looks like a strong possibility, mate. Yeah, I'm going to walk a bit closer to the fence. So we can have a look at the reactor, yeah. And we can see all the work that's being carried out. We're coming down this way, we've got like a service road. Uh huh. Down it's to crazy. What looks like it's going to be a so they're actually doing some excavations for there. Major excavations. Sort of flood defence, I would suggest. Um, it's a big hole in the ground, isn't it? It's deep. Oh, too right, it is. Turn your life rings around it, so we're obviously sticking to those guidelines. Just show you on the deck here, we've got that. what I call the flat wire coming away from the tent. It's yeah. So they really they really don't want anyone at all that's not authorised going in you, even animals. Getting to a double tent line. So I don't know if it's out of it. Very secure. Far. It's very secure at Hinkley Point. Wire on the top. And it seems like at the minute, it seems like at the minute, the CNC are leaving us alone to be fair, as well. So yeah, gonna see us, we're gonna pick it back up in a bit. This van by here. It said footpath this way, I think the footpath is that way. So, yeah. Sedgemore. See what he's up to. Beyond cabin. Sedgemore, creating opportunity. I think he's just a street sweeper, looks like. It's not great, innit? Sedgemore Council, these are. Old shovel looks a bit uh, worse for wear. The is about reversing up here and waiting for security. Is that what he's done? <laughs> it's not locked. And there's, nobody, there's, there's nobody actually in the eco cabin. Nobody in the cabin. So I've got a feeling the guy could be here for, for some time. Big camera. Hello. Yeah. Hello there. Hello. Filming me, filming you. <laughs> Where can I see this? Then I'll take it on a website somewhere, is it? Uh, check out YouTube, buddy. Yeah. yeah. Just look under Hinkley Point. Oh, boy. And uh, you should find it somewhere in the next 
couple of weeks or something? Yeah, a couple of weeks. More yeah. likely. Yeah. So have you got to wait now for security to get in? No, no, I'm just on a bike at the moment. Oh, right, in that yeah. case, ah, right. you alone. Oh, that's all right. No, no, I just obviously see with the cameras. I gather you're filming something so just to upset them or... No, no, no. <laughs> well, Big interest story. This well, gent was down here filming this time last year. Yeah. Uh, and we've just come down as a check to see what's okay, changed. Yeah, it's changed and everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Big difference, isn't it? Massive. Yeah. Yeah. Massive. If you look yeah. at Hinkley Point on YouTube, you'll probably already find my existing video I've got here, to be fair. Yeah. Because yeah. it's, it's, yeah, it's, you know, you see, um, See, see one of the civil nuclear coppers on there? Yeah. And you'll, the one, is it? you'll see him on the thumbnail. And that's my video. Uh, oh, to be fair. No, so far, so far, so far, even. Everyone's been friendly. Yeah. Uh, we're not here to upset anybody. Yeah. yeah. We don't go anywhere we're not allowed to. I would say it's all public land, isn't it? So. Exactly. Yeah, well, we were surprised the footpath was so close, actually. So we're going to trot up this way and then maybe thumb a lift back. Yeah, well, <laughs> have a good day. And you, uh, mate. Yeah. Enjoy your break. Thank you. Ah, everyone's been so, so polite and friendly, yeah? It's mad. So yes, he is not waiting for security. So I don't know if that part of the site is not in use at the moment. It's still um, packet of anti packet of signs of rubbish. Yep, anti packet of fire. If there was a bin, I'd put it in, but there isn't. There's, the bins are all up the top there. Yeah. So uh, we're going to go up this way now. Don't Might as well. We get, but we'll pick it up. Pick it back up, up in a bit. Us. We're back. We're near to the new site and the old site up this way. The outer perimeter of Hinkley Sea. I'll show you, they've got a couple of these. Uh, this scheme is controlled by EDF Energy, Hinkley Point C. Silver tanks. CCTV. Images are being monitored. Although the camera just to our left hasn't. Uh, Not yet, no. Focused on us yet. We both expect it to shortly. Shortly, yeah. <coughs> We've got. Uh, Got all these tanks and everything up here. All looks very, very, very new. All nice and shiny. I, I'm guessing this has been put in since I was last year. Yeah. So the fence is suggesting that uh, no one authorised access beyond that beyond side. Beyond that point. Very much in that fact. So the here. But then all that area is fenced off as well. Because you can so, see clearly the tarmac comes Wow, in. look at that. Just zoom in a little bit. Up. So oh. that side's all fenced off. That's obviously a new structure going up. The size of this though. Absolutely loads. I haven't even counted the cranes. Absolutely loads of them. Not wow. sure what these little brown mushroom things are. Looks like they've got massive containers over there as well. they got lots. They've been on site. Looks like a while, uh, very rusty. Yeah, they are a bit. Wow. At a car park. Um, I don't know, so that area is fenced off, so I don't know where the public right way is there, to be honest. I think they're still on it. Yeah, I believe I so. Because I haven't seen any signs saying, pretty, like, no one authorised entry or protected site. That's a concern. Yeah. Is there anything seen? No. So I'm guessing this is. It's still just a pedestrian that both ways. So it does. We're not going to get much further. No. Years one. Hey. HPC main entrance. There's a footpath all the way up there, look. Wow. Most things seem to be solar powered. So yeah, see the sign saying no unauthorized entry beyond there, look. Yeah. And the GoPro stopped. It's trouble. Well, that's right, because I wasn't going to climb over them. No. <laughs> <laughs> So we're all right at the minute, we're still on the public right away. I think we're okay. Um, we'll have a little look see. Just keep a little rolling, guys, because you never know when... Uh, you never know. ...maybe a break. Don't know what's going on with the GoPro, though. 
Hello, Hello, man. Jets. What are you recording? Oh, just Finkley Point. Well, who you work for? Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Who do you work for? Don't work for anyone. Uh, you're not allowed to record any of this security fencing. Well, we're, we're in a public area, aren't we? No, we're not, no. Right. You, sorry, you're not allowed to record any of this security fencing. Why not? It's uh, against the world. Is this a public footpath? No, it's not a public footpath. Well, it looks like a public footpath. This isn't a public... Excuse me, guys. This guy's coming. You're not allowed to record any of it. Well, who are you, anyway? These guys are recording all the fencing yeah. and everything else. All right. Good morning, yeah, good, thanks. I'm going to ask politely who you are and explain to you I'm Rob Reynolds. I'm the North okay. Coast Security Supervisor. It's nice to meet Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Um, we're just wondering what you're up to. My friend was down here filming a year ago. Mm -hmm. This is an update to what he filmed back then. Uh, just uh, seeing how things have changed. Uh, do, do we probably talk to my colleagues on the South Bars. I believe so, yeah. Uh, it would have I been didn't come. Uh, um, they were G4S as well. So. Uh, yeah, they would yeah. have been. Yeah. We've yeah. spoken to the guy over at the accommodation. Mm -hmm. uh, very professional, got to say. Mm -hmm. Very polite, very friendly. You're looking exactly. a bit concerned. <laughs> uh, just um, just so we've both got uh, proof of the engagement, if you'd like to turn on your camera, just for our safety. That's fine. Yes, thank that you for letting me know. Yeah. We're, we're recording. Absolutely. Thank you for letting us know. Thank you. That's for our safety as well. Oh, of course. Yeah. Camera really like. understand. Um, as I said, I my could, name's Rob Reynolds. Nice uh, to meet you, Rob. I'm an SI badge operative for G4S security team up on the North Plaza. Is there anything I can help you with, with today, guys? Some information would be great. Uh, that will depend on exactly what you Obviously like to... Obviously non-secret <laughs> stuff. So just general stuff that you could find in the general sort of domain of papers, newspapers. Well, I'm happy to have a conversation with you, mm -hmm. gentlemen. Yep. Um, for safety purposes, if someone does start making their way up, of yes, course, this one's staying fine. over to the left. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, there is live traffic going around mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So, should we ask questions and you say whether you can answer them? Would that be a fair? I'll be as professional as possible for you, sir. Absolutely. These these rusty-looking things. Uh, the, the dome, sir. Yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. I mean, I'm assuming they've been here from when this part started to be built, which is quite some time. Okay, sir. No idea what they are. Me, myself, sir. No, I'm not no. an engineer. Don't uh, engineer. Right. I work for a living. It's, uh, <laughs> it's just it's quite to complain. Of course, it? no, that's um, fine. To be honest, sir, with that. the construction side of things, apart from the obvious, those are tower cranes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've got a few of them, haven't you? Is that, that is the nuclear reactor there, is, isn't it? That, that structure behind there, the that large tower one. Tower there, sir. That tower structure. I believe is. One of the main units, yes. Wow. One of the main units. So that's one of the main reactors there. Uh, that's insane. That's crazy. You okay, gentlemen. Do you know how many there's going to be? Oh, absolutely. That's absolutely fine. So that's that, that, and that's really interesting. See, seeing the reactors absolutely. actually being built as well. It's so complicated. So, the of technology course, yeah. is so advanced that like mm. you're asking a security guard about. No, that's right. Really, it's just pinpointing what sort of things are. So when we come back in December next year, we can see the next phase of the do you mind if I, is this one of those uh, sort of public audit things that I've seen on YouTube and stuff like that? Is that We often it? get confused for different things. Okay. I don't know how you'd like to describe yourself. I'm a citizen journalist or a YouTuber that makes... First Amendment audit, like the United oh, no, States... No, no. Yeah, it's, it's sort of, it's sort of like, well, we're con no. content creators anyway, just yeah, seeking okay. out, yeah, seeking out interesting yeah. things. You know, Covid hit a lot of people through work, it's like pick up a camera, go out. If, mm -hmm. if people watch the content, gets to the adverts, you might be able to afford a cup of coffee and a burger on the way home. Of course. Well, my friend, there's, a, there's just a gentleman walking down behind you. Hello, Jan. Have oh, you met him, have you? I was just saying you might want to step out of oh, the way. Right. Sorry, I thought you'd met him before. <laughs> no, yeah, no. So, um, what are you? Yeah, how are you doing? Filming? Yeah. We are, yeah. <laughs> just a uh, general interest. Any, more, any, any questions? Are there, are there there's any probably questions? loads. I'll let my colleagues speak. No. Which, so, you know, what, what we wanted to ask as well TGA, was up at... Uh, uh, Come up. So up at Breen, up at Breen. Ponting's up there. Apparently, HPC staff are supposed to be housed up there. I've heard so. that the contract's gone out to tender in the local area. I, we mm -hmm. don't get any given any details as opposed to staff and locations or anything. Mm -hmm. As I say, we have a, a very large, diverse security force. I'm specifically responsible for what you can see behind us, mm -hmm. yeah. which is uh, the North Plaza platform, the, the bus traffic yeah. and stuff like that, yeah. as opposed to other parts. Cheers, thank you. There is an awful lot of buses, isn't there? And yet, they there seem is. to be empty. Both in and out, there's very few people it on them. Depends on what part of the day you come in at, sir. Right, okay, being, so being they're uh, running them anyway. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's a logistical network. It has uh, 
ups and uh, sort of surge periods, yeah. quiet periods, yeah. but the, it's got to run consistently for obviously mm -hmm. various needs. And is ah. that just back to that accommodation, or do they take we, them further afield? I, as I, I say, the, it's the, a, what do it's, they call it out there? Uh, that's the, camp the campus. 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 The, the sort of bus network you're, you're referring to does supply a large proportion of Somerset area right, to okay. furnish the site with the appropriate number of staff. So more for locals then? Or? I, I wouldn't say how far afield they actually go, but I do know it, it, it does furnish a wider area in Somerset sort mm -hmm. of uh, sure. district. Um, sure. I, might, I do believe I see Bristol buses every now and then, but again, oh, wow. the majority oh. of the bus there it does, is just for the local area. Ah, there we go. So is, is there a local job centre that we could go in and see what jobs are on? Oh, There's jobs fairs, sir. They launch right, jobs okay. fairs as opposed to, because we're trying to capture employment from the, the entire Somerset area yep. and wider wider southwest, hmm. they do job fairs. Right, um, okay. They don't have a specific location. There was an EDF shop in Bridgewater oh, right back okay. during the pandemic. That was, you know, obviously like a lot of places. Unfortunately. Um, pulled back into the fold. Hmm. And now it is just pop-up fairs. Oh. Where we're allowed to go ask questions, meet tier ones, different contractors and stuff. Oh, wow. So we, we were saying when we arrived, it's a pity you haven't got a visitor's centre. We do visitors tours, sir. Do they? You do. So I think how would we book one of those? Well, obviously, we wouldn't get one today. Through the understand. website, sir. I believe through the website. It's, it's on oh. the website. Now, the, the stage we're at, uh, whether there's going to be a future planned visitor centre, I believe there's one in the scope long term, like right. a long way down the road. But as where they are right now, everything is going up, coming down. Things mm. are, the, the yeah. site's very yeah. fluid. Of course. And this is why people are interested, because obviously, Hinkley A. Uh, you got A over there, yep, B's over there. How much there. long has that have got to go to be fully decommissioned? Because I did Barclay a while back and they reckon they're going to be there another 20 years. To be honest, sir, the, the A and B stations, again, wildly not, out of my uh, not remit. remit. Uh, absolutely, Understandable. Sir, different security contracts, mm -hmm. different different sure. plant operators. Can we uh, get round to those from here? You can walk, sir. There is a way of going back down there yeah, to the main road. Yeah, we left the Mercedes There is a the pedestrian hill. walk where I would stress heavily to you know I'm joking of course <laughs> yeah. I would stress yeah. heavily there is a walkway yep. but just to let you know past the, the big a heavy gates mm -hmm. that you've just walked by did you see them the big sort of dragon oh, leaf gates yeah sort of they sort is, of over this bit yeah, yeah if you go back out here and just take a right yeah uh, yeah those are there. actually the beginning of the nuclear estate right so once you pass those while still got a couple of the right way you have entered the, the civil is there any sign of saying that because of course as I've come up I'm filming into here talking mm -hmm. about Wessex water and stuff and there was nothing on that gate now I didn't look over my shoulder mm. uh, to be honest sir I haven't been down to look right, inside okay. each other in the recent mm. uh, recent memory but what I will say is as you see this fence line here yeah. that's mm. obviously the beginning of the yeah. site license conditions protected site oh, that's yeah. defining yeah. The, the nuclear estate of HPC yes. but however the wider Hinkley nuclear estate begins at those gates right. so uh -huh. while there are public rights away you know safety is paramount for us we've also got mm also got a desire to make sure of you course. have yeah, freedom yeah. Well, of this, access this is why we love signs like this because I was going to say they're quite evenly spaced out they are up to here and then they sort of spread out a little bit but we we always take notes of those we don't mm -hmm. cross anywhere we're not meant to we don't climb barriers mm -hmm. go you know if it's mm. shut, we leave it shut even if it's unlocked because no. it's not our job to open es it. especially um, when we see a sign like that that says uh, no one authorised access to the protected site under Section 128 of the Serious Organised Crime Police Act. There you go. And it's quite clearly defined, which is good. The Sockler so, so. Poundry is a very interesting mm. uh, legislative act. Mm -hmm. uh, again, oh, sorry, General, would you mind? Okay, yeah, no, please no. do. Yeah. Carry on. It's my colleague. Um, yeah, have you got any further questions? Anything um, I can answer? I'm more I than happy to I think you've to. been, for me, pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, very good, but Thank pretty you. good on answering what we Definitely. need to know. There's I mean, I wanted to ask questions like, you know, are you renting the cranes on a long-term contract? How much are they? That's uh, to, my give, to give you a breakdown, sir, the stuff going on there is what we call civils. That will right. be the civil engineering aspect. Civil engineering, yeah. yeah. You can imagine with the, the, the sort of supply chain network for this extends all the way out to mm -hmm. the outer quadrants and beyond of, of course, Europe. Yeah. Um, it, yeah. it, <laughs> it contains hundreds yeah. of tier ones, twos and three contractors. Yeah. I, oh, it's a massive, massive, I really massive couldn't problem. even begin to tell you how complicated that might be to answer, as in, I don't know if it's owned, rented, bought, sure. all mm -hmm. I do know is we They're normally rented, aren't they? We consider mm -hmm. them civil engineering. Yeah. And we a, bit, a bit like the fence, it's nearly always rented on site. But uh, the rental on this site, if it is all rented, is going to be running into millions. 
Oh, to give you an idea, so all of this infrastructure is owned by a, a different tier yeah. uh, stakeholder to that main Again, fence line. Yeah, yeah. It's all it's all got a lot of moving so parts. Have any of the people that supply all this stuff got any Chinese contacts? I would know, sir. Because you know, obviously, China and, and the, the French energy. Are the they're quite obviously. Uh, EDF is French, quite isn't it? Quite obviously, yeah. an investor in the project. Yeah. Um, that's and, that's and this publicly is all supplied, obviously. Uh, personal protective equipment is yeah. legally supplied by the uh, yeah. whichever stakeholder you work for. Uh, plenty of it. Yeah, so you, you know, absolutely. You haven't got to worry about wearing some. Some of the best PP in the country, yeah. actually. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, that certainly looks like a good old uh, vest, very okay. similar to the police. Yeah, it's practical. I think yeah. it's actually become widely adopted now. It has, it has yes. security, yeah. and I think it's because it has these quick clips, allows us Perfect. to carry things up your hands, so we can, without exactly. us having to stand here with a camera in one hand, and just allows us to talk more. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. We, both, we both have body cams. I don't mm -hmm. turn mine on if you're approaching in a friend. No. If it gets a bit iffy, I say to him, I'm oh. putting on my body. I always record I it on anyway. Some of the engagements, I, I find them um, quite harrowing, actually, uh, on, <laughs> on both sides of the pie. I find some hmm. auditors can be, you know, unnecessarily belligerent. And so I what, find what is an actual auditor, then? As far as I'm aware, it's people that understand the civil legislation acts towards the ability mm -hmm. to film, question, right, approach okay. uh, different areas of pub, uh, public society, right. uh, or public life, sorry, and uh, it's how they get challenged approach them uh, so G4SM, do they give you training on that? To a certain extent, sir. Right, to a certain okay. extent, there, there, is a, there is a modernisation going on within the British security industry, along with Martin's Law. I'm sure you've heard about the Legislative yeah. Act mm -hmm. since the Manchester yeah. incident. Yes. Um, the idea that we better understand social media, um, civil liberties, uh, again, person-to-person -person contact, the peer-to-peer -peer sort of mm. risk management side of things, because a lot of things can be mitigated with better communication. And I think we, we've all transited away from that 1990s door supervisor feel into a more, more appropriate sort of professional industry, if you will. I'm really glad you've said that because I've come across G4S at other establishments, including Barclay Bar Station and um, what's the other one over that way? Oh, is it Oldbury? Oldbury Bar. Oldbury. Both being decommissioned and your company, but nowhere near as professional as you. Very kind of you um, say. And that's why I asked about what training are they receiving because when we suggest to them that maybe they need to go away and they're sort of just sitting there watching a camera when nothing's happening, read something, learn something because if you do trample on people's rights, it can create a whole lot of problems for lots of people. And the only people that benefit are the people that are solicitors or barristers. Aren't I they? couldn't agree more, sir, so as, a, as a, a British veteran. I'm very big into people's liberties, freedoms, uh, and rights. <laughs> Got to ask then, who did you serve with? Royal Marines. Oh, well done that man. <laughs> Thank you very much. What command are you? 40 for a lot of it, and then command support group down in uh, Plymouth for a little while. Okay. So, um, I've got a friend just moved from Plymouth down to Taunton. Does he taunt and he's gone? I think it's Taunton he's just gone. I did notice the Bren gun. Uh, do you like that? Yeah, it's very smart. It normally comes off after the uh, poppy day, but I've left it on this year for, for no. obvious reasons. But uh, Gentlemen, honestly, you'll never find no bigger, uh, you won't find a bigger advocate for the ability to express yourselves and myself uh, and we just want everyone to be safe and uh, get well, not only have you been an advocate for G4S and Hinkley but you've been an advocate for the Royal Marine because <laughs> any ex bootneck I've ever come across has always oh, sorry, chefs. shown the utmost respect unless it gets a bit nasty and then we all know <laughs> ex forces at all because you look like you could possibly be an ex baggy ass mat <laughs> you know it's the beard and everything you just look don't you look so he could be on the on hmm. the helicopter deck on the ship, then he... To be honest, sir, he's, yeah, uh, he's like uh, what I consider professional commercial security. And right. it's, uh, mm -hmm. He adds a, a really important dimension, especially when doing things like this, because yeah. when you, you, you bump into potentially G4S or ex-veterans, mm -hmm. yeah. people have them, sometimes a preconception of a stereotype. Of course, yeah, uh, yeah, of my team is widely diverse, very inclusive. We have many members from all different aspects of Europe uh, and uh, social backdrops, and it's, mm -hmm. it's really beneficial for things like this. We all can tell you're a good team, do you say team leader or team manager? I'm, I'm a supervisor. Supervisor. Well, well, fantastic. You, you lead your team well, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. That's very kind of you. Right, we won't keep you any longer. No, it's very kind of you. Although it's actually warming up, my ears are still cold. It is. <laughs> <laughs> 
this morning. Big very is. cold. It's no way away from it. So Listen, I will, I will give you one of those. Thank you very much. We're going to shake yours because it's slightly different. Of you. Um, thank you for oh, being professional. Shake hands. Cheers, right. gentlemen. I, I wish you the best of days. If you could go down there, if you're going to carry on the train, could mm -hmm. you stick to the footpaths for yeah. us? These buses are, are we large. We try to as much as possible, including okay. the public ones that are around, although they're a bit yeah. boggy now because the sun's getting on them. But uh, yeah, we, we try not to upset anybody. Okay. All right. Gentlemen, as I said, my name's Rob Reynolds. I'm the North Plaza yeah, Security Advisor. This is Jamie Wilson. He's one of the security officers. And we hope you've had a, a nice, nice time. Do you know what? You've, you've almost ended that as you were going through your sergeant's car. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, have a great day. Thank you very and much. You. Thanks Perfect. very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. Thank you, Rob. Thank you. Wow. Oh, that be Jack, huh? There we go. Fantastic. Is he, is he shouting me, by the way? Honestly, he talking to you. I must say, I must say, the most. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was sure. <laughs> but, oh, that guy. You mean the guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he was. But gotta say, Rob, gotta be the most professional security guard I've ever come across. Superb. Isn't <laughs> what, what? I mean, G4S. If they were all like him. We we know. He, should he should train should them all. He should train them all. He should. He should train them all. Maybe Definitely. I'll contact G4S and tell them yeah. that. Anyway, we're going to have a wander up around the other side. So yeah, we will have a wander to the old part of Hinky Point. So you're only going to uh, see, although there's a bit of uh, oh, there's a bit of construction going on there. Construction going on. Before I uh, before I stop this recording. Just dropping a bit of that. I don't know what they call that. Is it uh, shuttering or something? Hmm. What they tend to put in is a reinforcement they put in. There's a lot of work going on, yeah, I must say. So one of you lovely viewers will leave a comment. And um, while we're on that subject, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up, both me and TGA, the Gwent Auditor. And we will uh, pick this back up in a bit. Okay. So we've just spotted the what looks like to be a police car over there. Um, we'll pick it back up in a bit. What did we... Um, hmm. Well, we've already spoken to security, so... Good morning! Hi. How are you? Okay. Can't hear you. Let that go by, they're not going to hear you. Okay, no hmm? Hello, what are you doing here then? I'm working. You're working? What are you doing here? Well, we're working at the moment. Yeah. Oh, okay. Doing what we do. What exactly. do you do? Making videos. Making videos. Making videos. Oh, video creators. Cool. Isn't for us, is it? What? All this? No, well, there's some other people over there. So oh, it's, well, it's standard. No good. Well, no, they're not. But it's standard procedure that we always they're go. They're not up to no good. So you are uh, nuclear. No, they're not. Not. Oh, oh, no. right. You're nuclear police, then, are you? No, I'm not. I'm even in some. Oh, even on some of shares. Normal badges. Right. So. <laughs> I haven't heard that one before. Well, ah. it's, it's why we tend to team up with different people yeah. doing this sort of stuff. Is it a do documentary or something? Or you, you could call it a documentary. This gentleman mm. visited here a year mm. ago. Okay. So I thought I'd... The day. To be fair, I only went up to where the campus is up there. Yeah. And I set up a tripod. I was just taking some pictures of the work. And it's changed quite a lot since I was last year. Significant last year. change, yeah. Sorry, I'm not being mean. It's the sun's... Oh, nice. Do you, do you want us to move a bit? <laughs> no, 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 a bit, no, or... okay. no. we'll move so this So you've seen it change quite a lot. Lot. There we go. Mm -hmm. Seen it change quite a lot. Yeah, right? definitely. Yeah. Always do what the police do and, and spread out like that. So <laughs> Why do you do that? Though? Tactical, I suppose. Is it? Yeah. Okay. You don't know. You don't tactical, know I suppose. You don't always <laughs> know who you're talking to. Do this you? is true. Mm, but like us, true. you never know that's if you're a good cop or a bad cop. Oh, well, there you go. I'd like to think we all are, mm. but yeah. <laughs> well, you get you get the odd one or two. It, they're yeah. cold. <laughs> I know, man, this is why I got keep pulling this up. They're mm. freezing for some reason. It is, but it's always cold up here. Hinkley's yeah. got its own climate. It's bitter because of the wind off the shore. Is that I can its own climate because it's nuclear? <laughs> Just very always cold. Palm on the trees, anyway. <laughs> anyway, do you want to keep us for a chat, or are we happy to? No, no, I'm not detaining you. Not at all. Esther, not at all. it is Esther. Esther. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Esther. Is TGA? Hello. Hello. Uh, it, does that stand for a company or a name? Top of guy associated. Thank you. That's really me. <laughs> Maybe. All together get everything. <laughs> okay. So you're interested in it? Or uh, is yeah, it it's, fas can... it's fascinating, must say. It is yeah. fascinating. Well, it's going to be with us for a good few years, isn't it? And, hmm. and of course, we're still interested in the bit that's being decommissioned. Yeah. Because I've done the Barclay Power Station recently and they reckon they're still going to be there in 20 years' time. Mm. Really? And people aren't aware of the money that's being, I won't say wasted because we want it to be safe, mm. but you don't realise the job's going to money. take so long. Yeah. You know, so by the time this one's built and completed, you'll probably find they'll start decommissioning it and build another one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. 
Chinese money. You never know, do you? It's, you know, it's, fi it's fickle. It. <laughs> <laughs> it's fickle. <laughs> so anyway, He's yeah. He's good for looking lines, isn't he? He is, he is, <laughs> I must say. Well, so you know, how did you get here, guys? Because my We flew. And then we parachuted just over. Which field was it we dropped in from? Oh, I think it was. Must have been that one, that one over there. The I think. It, like it was away from the tower lines because you don't want to get your chute caught, you see. And we're being picked up by landing craft off the beach in about oh another three hours. Okay. And the serious answer being the serious answer is I don't know. How did I get? Here? Did I catch a bus? My, my only concern being we're not going to tell you, are we? If you don't want, I want only because I'll I'm be only... honest with you. I don't want you search in the vicinity, trying to get a number plate just to check on who we are. Well, if you don't want to tell me who you are, that's because fine. At the moment, you have no obligation to tell me. I'm as professional as you. Oh well, I do try. So <laughs> we would never be rude to you, no, but no, we no, need no. to be looking after our anonymity. No, no, that. You that's know. fine, I've got no, like you I said. You can have me stage name if you like. <laughs> I don't know if I want to know with some <laughs> of the things that you've already said. Seriously though, can I just say, cause that road, um, you've seen obviously the buses come up, we do have HGVs travelling along that road. Do you? It, it can be particularly... Really? HGVs to a construction site? <laughs> I'm being facetious. You are being very facetious Listen, because I'm concerned for your safety. I hold his hand when we're crossing the road. Right, let me just, right. let me see my face, please, okay? Because okay. You're, seriously, you are all in quite dark clothing, you haven't got any mm -hmm. high-vis on. Um, Where is it? Is it there? What? Or is it there? Your high-vis yeah. is in your pocket. If yeah. I feel like the need, I've got just, it to put just on. Just be careful, there's no, no footpath either on that road. When we so. come up this way, there's a public footpath right along the fence line. Foot, oh, from there to here, yes. Yeah. But I, like I said, I don't know where you're parked. You don't have to tell me where you're uh, parked. We're at Green you're Downs walk. Beach okay. Car Park. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to get anywhere with that. Just please be careful well, I've just on the told road. you now. I've just given in the information and yeah. told you. The fact that we caught a bus here, we're still parked there. No problem. We've been we've been walking we've been walking along we've been walking along lanes and crossing roads for I'm a long sure time. You do, and like I said, it's only a, a, only something that I'm raising out of concern because mm -hmm. it is a of course quite a nasty road. Of I course, really want you to no. Come across. Of course. Will you stop winking at me? I'm not <laughs> <laughs> it's you? gone in. It's gone in though. Right. So listen, are your colleagues going to get upset if I go and film them? Um, I don't know what their protocol is. They're different to us. Yeah, so, the same so which one's yours then? So I'm parked there. On your own? So oh, that's the, so, so that's Avon and Somerset. Carlos. That's fair enough. Single crew. So Avon and Somerset. The other officers so there. So these nuclear guys. Yes, um, right, so they run on the uh, Duracell so batteries. You can, you can, by all means, try and go and speak to them, but I can't. That's fine. Give well, you like, what response like you would security, get. I've got to say, the most professional security guy ever. ever come across in my life. Us under something yeah. or other. <laughs> well, like I said, we, we've got no power to detain you from what you're doing. You're perfectly entitled to come in fact, and like any other. Acts of Parliament. We act before, we act after. Yeah, yes. yeah, that's Parliament. Yeah. And they change weekly, don't they? They, they, they do change. Look they at do Rishi change. now. He wants to stop the uh, nurses. You, what do they always say? The two topics never to discuss yeah. are politics and religion. Mm, and sex. That's don't ask me never to discuss sex. Either. Yeah. It has its ups and downs, but you know. Is there yeah. anything we can do for you? Yeah, could you give us a lift back to the car? <laughs> what, you're to gonna rain? Say, yeah, you're going to say no, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> You're going to say no, aren't you? I can't. Here's a question for you then. Is that because we're not insured? Insured? To be carried in an emergency vehicle. I can take anybody in my police You car. can, because that changed, didn't it? Because years ago you couldn't. Well, I, I was watching um, hmm? 999 After Hours on telly, hmm? and they took a drunk guy home to stop him getting into trouble. And I thought, Jesus, it's, the police have become taxi drivers <laughs> without the tip. <laughs> 
And then they worry because there's nobody there watching other people getting beat up or whatever. We can never be in every place at the right time, nope. can we? Because nope. there just True. isn't enough of us. Well, thank you, Officer Lawson. You've turned it around now. I can't see it. Officer Lawson. Esther Lawson, wasn't it? Your yeah, Esther Lawson. Please, because I can't actually see yeah, it. You can't see it, can you? Oh, that's. Ooh. Ah, 3874. 3874, thank you very thank much. Thank you very Do much. I issue them for the coach? No. Well, Not for these do. ones, People and it's too them. cold today to put the other one on. <laughs> yeah, it is rather. <laughs> I'm just looking at your standard kit. You, you're taser trained, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, it's plastic, baton, really. Baton or, no, or <laughs> spray? Baton. Oh, baton's up there. Spray down there? Spray, yeah. So ah, what is the law on that? Because if we wanted to carry something to protect ourselves... This is a Section 5 fire. Yeah, no. You can't but carry that. Is there anything we can carry? Not similar Because that's parva, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So how about if I carried a tin of brute and he carried some old spice or something? Wow, well, there you go, see? Would that be legal? That would, yeah. Until it's used to defend yourself mm. and then see? it becomes a weapon. Yeah, it, like, it depends, it's quite... It's, it's, I'm not sure the, day, the, on the Offensive oh, no, Weapons Act. I'm getting so. bored now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do that, it's cold in my ears. It's, it's freezing. I'm quite, see, I've got my hat on, I'm all with this. I'm all wearing this. <laughs> anyway, listen, thank you very much. Well, I look forward to seeing myself somewhere. Perhaps. <laughs> You're not even going to give me a hint so I know where oh, to look. Oh, to believe me. Do you know, I used to be the beat manager for you. Did you? Here's a question for you. Ago. You'll probably say you can't answer this. Is Pontins being used to house people from here, or is it going to be used as an immigrant hotel? Do you know? It's publicised, isn't it? I don't know. It's going to be is used it? for I've just thought of it. Oh, it is. Yeah, but, but it's, it's currently being used for refugees, isn't it? Sorry. It's currently being used for refugees, though, isn't it? As far as, as, far as I'm aware. No. So no? Who's the one that's being used by refugees? I have no idea what you you're talking about. You do really, about. don't you? Yeah. I just don't want to tell you. You must know. Little mink. It's only because we want to find it and just do a little story on that as well. So. Right. It's quite an interesting one, isn't it? Hang on. Watch. Look. Oh. There could be an H. There could be. It could be, yeah. See, I did I say I was going to I didn't hear anything. I got my ears peeled. <laughs> to my word. There we are. You you the good morning. How are you? How are you? Oh, oh, good, thanks. You're a sergeant as well. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fantastic. Uh, with the yeah. Civil Nuclear nice Constabulary. Have a good day. Stay safe. Let me know and when I can, and then I'll sign you my autograph. Oh, yeah. Be, for me, it'll probably be about three or four days. All oh, right. His could be up quicker because he's... You never know. You never know. Okay. <laughs> never know. I'll give you the autograph. <laughs> yeah. Take care, Esther. Fantastic, Esther. Have a lovely Thank day. You I'm not bad. I've never come across you guys before. No, we've got two, actually two, um, obviously you know, there's two stations. You've got the sea site, which is the one being built. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, that's under Avon and Sunset, so that's not our responsibility to get Kent's nuclear fuel. Ah. Uh, Esther's uh, here. Yeah. Right, okay. Um, so we won't be taking that until we get nuclear fuel in it. Right, okay. Hmm. Uh, but I'm responsible for sort of the B site one, hmm. next one around that one. Just where just, we're going, yeah. fair enough. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right, so, see someone else there. I've got to change over. So when you <laughs> when it's fueled, yeah. have they got a deadline for that? Uh, Are we just sort of looking at the moment, like three, three years, three like years. maybe pushed back. But right. Hmm. Because it's, it keeps getting pushed back, we yeah. pushed back, doesn't it? So, yeah. Delayed. Oh, fantastic. So, so did you find yourself... How are we doing, all right? Hello, you um, good? thank you. Sometimes, yeah, yeah. occasionally it's a bit busy. Most of the time it's fairly routine. Yeah. Sort of stuff, doing new patrols. I mean, we were involved in a search for missing person oh, in the right. area oh. lately. But wow. Unfortunately, he's not turned up, but... Oh, it's always a shame, especially near at Christmas, isn't it? Yeah. So is, is largely what you do supporting the local constabulary, everyone's on a set these days? Do. Or? Um, oh, I just they... noticed. Sorry. Oh, sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah. Want to come around this side of the Hello, mate. How are you doing? Hello, you okay? <laughs> yeah, okay. I just want a bit some of my ears are freezing. It's uh, a bit cool today, isn't it? Yeah. So, uh, yes, it's fire freezing arms. today. Firearms as well. Yeah, all, oh. everyone, well, most people in the... Sorry, city, mate, did yeah. I cut in on your question? Oh, I do apologize. Oh, no, no, that's, that's fine. Crack yeah. on. Let's crack on. I, I, I haven't looked. I, was, I, I look on. at faces yeah. and I gauge reactions and then I start to scan. Yeah, and then okay. I... That's um, okay. Yeah, teaser as well. I thought you were wearing two. Uh, <laughs> no, that's a uh, magazine. Ah, uh, oh, but... Yeah, uh, magazine rhymes. So you've got... So you've got carbines uh, as well. Yeah. yeah. So you've got a Bren gun there on your badge. Yeah. Next military Yeah. It's a bit... Yeah. Um, Bren gun. Yeah. 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 It's a bit unusual, isn't it? Yeah. But uh, what a lovely weapon. Never actually used one, used a GPMG before, but uh, never a brand gun. Well, the uh, LMG was the newer yeah. model after after yeah. that, based on the same different different magazine. Do you know about that? No idea. So you're not X Forces? Time. No. <laughs> you're not X Forces? Yeah, I used yeah. to be in the Navy. And oh. Then, oh. then the TA before that, so yeah. Uh, Do you know, I could tell you were probably ex Navy. 
How's that? <laughs> Some of my viewers are like, well, you're still your hands on your hips. Oh, well. Yeah. So, so I'm trying to gauge your age now. So you'd have probably been in when you still had either five or seven creases in your trousers. Uh, well, I, I was, believe it or not, I was an officer back in the day. So. <laughs> oh, bloody. Just one on the front, one on the back. Oh. It's mutiny, Mr. Christian. Yes. <laughs> an officer. Wow. So you, you just joined the police from college? Yeah, yeah, no, I started, yeah, just, I was uh, ironically working for EDF Energy, so... Oh, were you? Yeah, oh, right. yeah. Oh, right, full so, circle then. No, so that's uh, sort yeah, of why yeah, you chose... No, uh, yeah. no relation, just, yeah, yeah. please. Is so that sort of why you chose the, um, sort of the nuclear route then, civil... It wasn't, to be honest, no, but, mm. uh, you know... Just, mm. uh, and that was going to be my question, actually, what made you join, what's it called again? Uh, civil nuclear The civil nuclear constabulary. Uh, after I left the Navy, saw a job in the paper. Um, mm. Okay. They're advertising for the, um, about the time, that, back then it was the UK Atomic Agency Authority Constabulary. It's quite uh, a mouthful. 70. <laughs> no, there's, no, 2000, <laughs> not quite, 2004, 2005. And uh, applied for Winfrith, which shut down halfway through my training, um, which is in Dorset. And then uh, they changed it to the UK AA, pretty much my first day in the uh, service there. Um, then okay. I went, you went to Harwell. Firearms instructor, and then I came here as a, as a sergeant. The firearms instructor. Yeah, I've spoke to I've yeah. spoke to them. Uh, okay. Their sergeant as well down there, down at Harwell. All oh, right. Yeah. Which one? Uh, oh, I can't remember. His, can't, I, can't, I honestly can't remember. Now. Is it much different to well, the uh, bald, baldish fella? Quite, quite big. Uh, 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 I probably know you mean. Hey, yeah. So. I think I think it's Yeah. That, no, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not, not in salt mind. No, no, no. He's a nice guy actually. Really. Yeah, lovely chap. Yeah. I mean, you guys have been fantastic as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, um, I said. Then, sorry, we're busy. Oh. <laughs> it's always nice if we can have an interaction and learn a bit more about what well, you're doing. Well, that's okay, yeah. Do you want to just take a picture of the car? You take a picture of the car, go ahead. We're just trying to avoid the reds, mate, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I avoid that? That's all right, don't worry about it. No, we obviously no, we're obviously we're dealing with security <laughs> and uh, that's fine. That's the sea sign out to about five kilometres from site. Oh wow! Uh, sort of ascertain if there's any threats at all, but obviously yeah, you know, right, mate, don't view right. as a threat or anything like that. You just out here come for a look around, which yeah, people do. Just, fascinating so, it is though. I mean, look at the size of it. So, so. it's interesting about you though. It's not like police the, for nuclear sites. No, like I said, yeah, it's, we do help out the Home Office. The assistance. We do have actually guys that go out. What we call a Section 22, where they get attached to Haven and Somerset ah, right, on their yeah. time off. Yeah, I spoke to the Port of Bristol up at Portbury as well. Yeah. They have the same sort of, they do a similar sort of thing where they sort of help out with Haven and Somerset oh, no, Constabulary yeah. up there. That's, that's the yeah, I think they're within a mile from the port. Oh, right, whereas, yeah. Whereas, you're, what, you're five miles from? Five, five kilometres. Five kilometres so, yeah. from, the, uh, from the nuclear site. So, yeah, just all about the edge of Comich. Um, I'm concerned about it. Yeah. We are anyway, Stolford, but obviously, well, stir that way, fresh in the mind. Uh, and then they've got the naval rangers at the edge of that way. Well, do you see much action then? As a uh, occasional, not yeah, it was a bit obviously you want crime fighting, you join the normal police. Yeah. Yeah. Occasionally we get uh, a few things happening. Yeah. So now you're tactical firearms trained, and it's more that you know, everyone, everyone the force joins now as a firearms officer. Mm. It's more there for what could happen than what's likely yeah. to, if you see what I mean. But I, uh, has there been anything that's occurred ever? Uh, protests. We've had um, we've had a couple of taser deployments oh. over the years, but uh, thankfully no firearms. Jobs, yeah. uh, well, you never know, dear. Exactly. You never yeah, know. With it, so, um, it was oh well. Down, appreciate, appreciate you telling me anyway, Sergeant. That's okay, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. Sergeant. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Oh. Yeah, yeah it's they uh, recycle. That's when they recycle the numbers. Two thousands now. They don't give out the old ones anymore. No, no, it's because it's. Um, well, you're more of a specialised force, aren't you, as well? So, uh, okay. you've got, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So, how many, how many locations have you got across the country? Right, we've got Harwell, yeah. yeah. No, it's always nice just to see what you carry. Um, so, where are you chaps from? Not out, just out of interest. Where are you from? You, um, you're doing a good job. Say about ten or eleven. Oh, so not, got not, that, massive yeah. amount, not a massive just, amount. Not a massive amount. Three or four in Scotland. So, obviously, Sellafield's a big one. That's where we come from. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually Hartlepool, 
Mm. We don't just cross it around. If you go on the website, actually, it'll tell you where they all are. It says, it says every single site on there. It'll tell you where the local course locations are. Oh, you've got to your way to start. That's interesting, yeah. Yeah, Callum, Callum, is there any one base in there? There is. Unusually, it's not a nuclear site, but it's where our headquarters is actually based. That is strange. Yeah. I have been up to Callum, actually, when I've been down there. Yeah, or some sort of laser tubers out base there. Oh, wow, yeah, I did see it. It's, it's incredible. Another, another thing is, uh, like Harwell, even though it's a license, licensed nuclear site, sites like this with drones, you know, drones are not allowed within yeah. anywhere any other. Um, it's actually, it's, it's more to do with actually, it comes under the um, air exclusion law. Every, every site's got a... Uh, Wow. Two mile, two nautical mile, and two thousand feet air exclusion zone. Over. But I've I've checked with Harwell. They haven't got one. They have. <laughs> Harwell have got one. Yeah, there's a two and a half thousand feet. It used to be a question here in the old science exam. Because I've checked on the I've checked through drone assist and everything like that. There's nothing displayed. If you go on to what's the very best place to go. Um, yeah. Well, they look, they yeah, look yeah, 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 yeah. Are they the ones that are spring loaded? No towns. Um, if you go on sort of low flying, no. military low flying no. website, I don't know what exactly what it's called, but <laughs> the all ones are there. I always and it's, it's, it's two nautical miles, two thousand feet, two and a half thousand for Harwell because it's obviously higher up. Nice. Uh, I think Sellafield's five miles, that's a big big one. But it's Well, they would be. They're, they're the largest, yeah. largest. Well, they had the, the nuclear disaster all them all yeah. years ago, not that it was... Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. 60s, long time before I joined. <laughs> yeah. But it's, yeah, that was the UK's only nuclear, in, more major nuclear incident, yeah. Yeah. was yeah. Sellafield back, back all that time ago. Yeah, I watched a documentary about it years ago, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite interesting. But it was sea scale Sellafield, yeah. us, um, and it's... It's what's it used for now? Making storage nuclear uh, fuels? It's mainly storage. They are talking about putting uh, some new generators there. Hmm. So obviously it's um, um, really good assessing. So it's, uh, is it gonna is it gonna be a proper like? Power station again? Yeah, talking about putting a couple up there, yeah. Mm. So. yeah I, thought, I thought they might, because with all the. Now with trying Britain, to get rid of oil and mm. coal, yeah. 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 The other side of going yeah, to the so so we're moving the modular yeah. ones, I don't know where they're going to put them yet. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with the move away, to move towards clean energy, whilst exactly. nuclear energy is clean energy, there is. I know there's a lot of safety concerns surrounding, uh, surrounding nuclear power. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's good. obviously a thing called Fukushima, and we actually got a briefing on that. I think the only had, main thing is that when the big tide wave come in, the, uh, the salt water's got the diesel fuel which shut down the pumps. They're actually, it's actually the reactors here are now shut down. Do you want um, people that they had five, I think it was, different safety factors they didn't have on Fukushima. Mm. Uh, they got CO2, nitrogen, and if all else failed, they'd bore on, which should just completely scram the reactor, shut it down completely, but it's never get out. So there's a lot of there's a lot of safeguards in yeah, place if there, something there. were to happen, because obviously if the reactors here were to just yeah, there's no, there's nuclear no. nuclear material will get sprayed out across the southwest of England. Yeah, well, they're quite it's quite secure. Most of it's underground. All the fuel is all mm. secured and that to get to get that. You need 30 people to get the fuel out. So. Oh yeah, but, you know it's like it's co carefully monitored when they're running the reactor. Like I said, it's shut down now. So mm. oh, still it's still got. It's still, still got nuclear there, material so in there, yeah. That, but, yeah, yeah, uh, I was going to say, Dale, we need to shoot off because we uh, oh, are going to change over. Change over, is it? <laughs> what's your shift back now? Uh, 12 hours. Is um, it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And what's Two that, days. six till... Uh, it's between six and seven, but oh, okay. it will drift right. In that case, I'm going to get a quick shot of the car. Brilliant. Yeah, it's Yeah, yeah, it's a bit more section for you. Alright, so you've got the, the star on the roof for firearms as well? No. Because that's what I mean, it's the, uh, the five foot star. Yeah, so if a helicopter was above, they could tell, yeah, with the star. Oh, so that's for the, yeah. that's for the helicopter? Uh, 59's our area code. Oh, interesting. Oh, well, thank you. Tom, tell us about this show. Absolutely not. We're talking about my private lives. I cannot tell you about my private lives. Can I buy tickets? You can buy tickets, yeah, locally. Is it the Somerset players? No, it's not the same oh. players. But, uh, <laughs> you don't want to get any promotion. Well, you're leading man. I was going to say, I may be leading man, yeah. Is maybe. it a romantic role? <laughs> it could be. Uh, don't what tell a, my wife. And what about, <laughs> the, what about the lead man playing opposite? <laughs> Listen, guys. Okay, uh, nice to meet yeah. you as well. Yeah, okay. pleasure to meet you. Have a lovely, yeah, have a lovely day. Ah. Just oh. going to get one of the back of the car with the lights on as well. And there's the civil nuclear constabulary on the side, gov.uk slash cnc. So uh, there's a footpath up here as well. Loads of public footpaths across this site. 
So we're going to have to change the battery on the camera now, after our engagement with the Civil Nuclear Constabulary. So yes, we'll pick this back up very shortly. Yeah. But you can, I've got the handle that you can attach your phone to. So I've tried out um, Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Quite good. Nice to be able to see a bit more. You can see the reactor from here, see, speaking of seeing a bit more. Yeah. So I might fit this bit on the end of this one. So, uh, it's quite long. We had a long conversation with the nuclear did, police, didn't we? Didn't we? Yeah. yeah. And Esther. Yeah. I do like a bit of banter with them. <laughs> so we had Avon in Somerset and the nuclear police, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she was saying that, you know, it's dangerous on the road because they've had a missing person. Somebody died. Mm. Like, fucking hell. Esther. Yeah, she was right, the West though, wasn't she? Yeah. That copper from uh, Evelyn and Somerset. So there, as you can see, that massive thing there is the reactor. That's the reactor being built. I, th I knew it's. I know what I mean. it's got like that circular concrete design, so with all the reinforced, reinforced materials inside, so there's no leakage or anything like that. So you know what a reactor looks like. So reinforced metal, concrete in the middle, and you've got more metal. You've got different layers of, of a reactor, and they're building a big layered tower-like structure. So that's what a reactor looks like. It's amazing being this close to the reactor, to be honest. I want to see it properly. And you can see, there's the reactor there. Look at that! That's massive. And you've got these, these big dome, dome-like things there. Wow. Another big shed thing going up there. Wow. Look at all the work going on though, it's so busy. I mean, I'm no expert, but looking at the work though, mm. this is going to still be being built in five years time. Yeah, seems so. It's massive. I'm guessing there are police stations up here as well, because they went this way, the CNC. Yeah. So old guy in the He doesn't know we've already spoken to their per, their police though. <laughs> so we've got to electric cables below these black box things. Mm. You can get that because of the fence. Yeah, you can't see it so well, so can you? will probably end up being dug in, I would imagine, at some stage. Yeah, there's a hell of a lot of activity here, though. That's the point. There is wire along these fences. I don't know if that's anti-tremor or... Uh, perhaps. Or what? It is a new, you've got to think of every, all the possibilities. This is a nuclear site, so... Yeah. This is an active nuclear site. But you never know, some of you guys might actually be working here. So yeah, drop, drop in the comments below if anyone knows. I know there's quite a few of you that have got quite clued up. Watch these videos. So obviously the signage on this way is still the same, no drones. This obviously looks like it's an area of storing bits and things. Oh yeah. A lot of material over here. This is the boundary of Hinkley Point C. Nuclear Installations Act 1965 as amended. So we must actually be in Hinkley Point B at the moment. Well, the police didn't say nothing. <laughs> so, mm. tiny map, you ain't going to get much off here, guys. I'm nuclear afraid. license area, nuclear site license area. So, a few bits of general, general oh. stuff. Oh. Lots of padlocks left on the gate that aren't doing anything. 
fairly new one on there. Another sign that says do not move on the harvest system. Mm. Area dose meter. Now you don't see many of those in your travels. I'll let TJ get round that way oh, to, look at that. to get the rating. So radioactive substances, regulations, compliance, monitoring equipment. So that's for monitoring radiation levels. Well, it's not beeping, so we're safe. We can still have babies, TJ. <laughs> At the minute. <laughs> So there's probably radiation, probably a Geiger counter, if we had a Geiger counter on us, it'd be going off. That's the point, it's, it's nuclear. These police and all these staff, they're working around large, large amounts of nuclear material. So... Just take a little look at those pine cones, they are Look massive. at those, right next to a massive nuclear power station. And if that's why they're so big. <laughs> yeah, it could be, it could be radi radioactive pine right, cones. This is a bit of a walk, so I'm going to drop it, and we'll start up again when Pick we get back. Pick it back up in a bit. I think my GoPro. Got a gate open there. So, this is always a worrying sign. You've got barbed wire. Or broken. the fence. And then you've got a wide open gate. Hmm. Which uh, seems to be something they've put in. Yeah, but then again, look, they've got another layer of fence by there, unless they've broken through that. So, so to get into the protected side, look. You never know, but to get into the protected side, look, they've got there's another layer of fence yeah. there. Yeah, they've got the fence in there. The boundary. We've got the boundary of the licensed nuclear site. Look at that. Look how close we are. It's the old power station there. Hinkley B nuclear power station. Look at this. From the 1965 Act. 1965 Nuclear Installations Act. And this, again, a protected site under section 128. You look all the way down, down to the there. sea. You can see the Bristol Channel. There's this, well, the 7, seven Estuary, seven Bristol Estuary, Channel. Bristol Channel. Not quite sure where the boundary changes. One of the cleanest bits of water in the country. That's not what I heard, but uh, <laughs> uh, you know more than me. Well, that's only what I've been told. I might pack a lot, so <laughs> you never know. Look at the size of this. It looks old, though. This bit, doesn't it? Yeah, you can see why it's, it's very similar to Barclay. Mm, that's the old bit, though. This is, and I'm guessing the I'm guessing the police are based up here as well. Up this way, they said they were based at the old site, didn't they? Oh my god, look at that, it looks all run down. Yeah, it looks like a computer from 1963. <laughs> it does, rather. Look at that. It's all... So, this is, was this a security hat that's not even used anymore? Quite probably. So, they don't use that anymore. You can call through on there, but you can't, it's not used by security it's anymore. Again, it's a protected site. For a protected, oh, I was going to say for a protected site, the fencing's up, but then there's another layer of fencing yeah. over there. Oh, I don't know whether that's electric fencing or not. Over there. This looks like it's been added, doesn't it? Yeah. Just an extra layer of security, really. Which is good, I guess. To be fair. Look at all that. Mad. National grid. Power. National grid. Wow. Not sure how we're probably going to get when we get up here, guys. No. I believe this is where the Nuclear police are based. Yeah, I think we think they're down there. This way. So we think their police station's actually down this way. Do anything on that for you? 
Is this, oh, but there's gates with razor wire on top there. Is this part of a licensed, of a licensed nuclear site though? Because a lot of it is uh, considered as protected site. I'm a great believer that signage is most important. Indeed. Uh, hmm. It's like a mobile communications antenna. Pixie Way. So oh, the Pixie Rise. I take it we've got a cross here. Yeah. Pedestrians. Seems so. I think it's all the actual main site's all fenced off anyway, so. So this Yeah, this, this is open to the public, this bit. Nuclear generation limited. Which is the Nuclear uh, line. Chinese yeah. branch. Um, EDF Energy. Welcome to Access Control. control. Our opening hours are Monday to Thursday, 7.45 to 1, 1 1.30 to 3. Deliveries, 8 till 10, 10 10.20 to 1, and 1.30 to 3.30. One says no entry. You're looking for somewhere to see. Access control, nuclear safety is overriding, they're overriding priority. Well, we got some nice uh, recycling bins there. But it doesn't make it clear whether that's down that way or just here. I think that's for, probably for this bit here. Yeah. So that's Magnox. So this is Pinkley Point A. Over there. Pinkley Point A. There's your site walls for you guys. I don't know where. Corn drugs policy. Adhere to it. Yeah. I wonder what that means. How many you got to smoke a day? <laughs> and look at that for security, guys. Why don't we? Why don't But you can see there, look, on this fence, there's signage to say, yep. this is a protected site in the section 128. Yeah. Serious organised crime police act, trespass on this site is a criminal offence. Adhere to that signage. So, uh, yeah. Hi. Yeah, good, thanks, you. Hello. You work here? You work here? No. No. I don't think you should be having the cameras out. You oh, don't, we've, you it's don't a, think. Fine. Have you, have you <laughs> been... You shouldn't be having the cameras out. <laughs> oh, make your mind up. No, you shouldn't. <laughs> you should. Who's that Sirs, who are you? Well, why, why shouldn't we? Oh, I don't know. Have you been into security? See, I can't see anybody in there. No, we're in the security room. We, we stopped you it, yeah. Up this way. You're going to take us up, right? Well. <laughs> are you not security then? No, no. no. You're a contractor? Yes, I have. Yeah, I oh. thought you were. What is it you do then? Somebody in here oh, but they tell me what you do. No, it's not that. <laughs> you know, it's top secret. Oh, no, actually, you're on a power station at the end of the day. Oh, yeah, it's not working, though, is it? Locked, eh? It's, it may not be working. Oh. But, you know. Oh, well, we'll wander on down there. Yeah, we'll walk down. We're not going anywhere without this. As you can see, we didn't go through that gateway. Okay. Yeah? So no we've seen the, the license. Don't worry, don't worry. The licensed nuclear sites on that, on that side of the fence. So how much longer has this got to go before it's decommissioned? Oh, who knows? It took years. Are we talking about two yes. years? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but you'll be here till you retire then? Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Well, as long as you enjoy it. <laughs> so, paying too much in this business, yet? Yeah. Little sporty Merc Sadai. Oh, uh, FedEx are doing a delivery here as well. I'll turn it back on. All right, so we're walking down to... Uh, Hinkley Point A, I believe that this this building is, yeah. This is the A power station. That's B over there. And C's the new one over there. Big fences, big gates. Massive. Nuclear safety is the overriding priority. You can see where the power would have come out and gone through all this kit and caboodle out into the national grid. Hmm. Lots of people looking. A hell of a lot of people looking. Nobody trusted enough to say anything yet other than Heat and Smoke Training Facility. Oh Karen. Ah. Is that their police station over here? I ah. think we may have stumbled upon it. So 
as far as we can tell and the two of us thinking about this where we are now is okay everything else that we're not allowed to go on is that it's, side of the and space. it's all fenced off anyway so we've actually got a couple of EDF vans down here we have so Hinkley Point B is one of eight EDF energy nuclear power stations in the UK eight so I think Sizewell Sizewell is another one might we need to visit some more then we shall Oh, they've got a couple of police cars, you. You remember the number of the one he said, don't take the number plate on? <laughs> I fell off the top of my head. <laughs> did you like what I did when he said that? I went straight to the number plate. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was trying with it. I think so. They know what we're doing. They know what we're doing. Oh, yeah, 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 sure. well, we've got some CNC cars, don't you? The is only. We may bump into them again, police vehicle only. So this is their police station. Not quite. They're the same ones to the Skodas, aren't they? They're all the same. So we've got uh, turnstiles here that look very old. Hmm, very rusty, side. Not even sure if they're still working. No, I think they've been fenced off. They've yeah. been fenced off the, uh, yeah, uh, to the A-side. Look at this. Look a bit closer. So, we'll have so you can literally walk straight up to the police station then. I believe we can. <laughs> They're the same cars though these. They're the Skodas. Skoda. So we've got two. Not sure which one. They haven't got much variation with their vehicles, have they? With their so fleet. We've got a 71 plate. On a 20 plate. On a 20 plate. This one doesn't look as though it's been on the road today. No. It's still got condensation all over it from from the cold yeah. weather. So this was obviously the one that yeah it was. Uh, yeah, this this was the one. BFP. So this was Tom and Sergeant whatever his name was. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he did tell me. I can't remember. Um, Civil nuclear constabulary. What? Civil nuclear constabulary. This one's parked very well. Clearly in the, in the bay. Totally. This one. Hmm. Shoddy, shoddy parking. <laughs> the other ones who spoke to us. Yeah. So we're. So we're looking their vehicle. So we're looking their vehicle. Yeah, they got their radio and everything in there. Got another EDF vehicle there. Security reception. So this is the police. This is the police station. This is a security office. How you doing, mate? Alright? It's a busy site, isn't it? On a, on a 10 plate. That's older. That's much older. I do like the Land Rovers, I've got to be honest. Yeah, they are quite nice vehicles. I'm going to get a photo of that as well. So we can't go any further down here. I'm not sure how you would get into reception. It's obviously through this building. Through the building, yeah. Security, isn't it? It's a nuclear site. They've got to have different security procedures. Yeah. Well, it's quite a nice reception, no? Security. Nobody on security. Your desk is free. Do you I could open that door? <laughs> right. Can you go in? You're going to go in Somebody? here. You're going in here. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Camera. Yeah. Camera. Camera. Yeah. Put it out, please. Not cameras. Inside. So should we go outside then? We're not allowed to film inside. Sorry, I, I didn't see a sign. Is this? Apologise. Yeah. No, I was just going. Who are you? Just gonna, I was just going to ask you, is there anybody to speak to to give us an update on when the final phases will be taking no, place? Uh, they all finished now. Are they? Oh, they finished. That's right, yeah. Well, we, <laughs> we just, we've just spoke to the Civil Nuclear Constabulary. They've, they've added a shift change over with you, so... Oh, right. So they, you know... All right, no worries. Yeah, we expected that, all right. Well, well, no respect worries. your wishes, sir. Thank you very much. Have a good Thank weekend. Thank you, sir. Take care. Well, 
Yeah, you've got to ask. So should we walk up this way? Yeah, well, we'll walk up this way. I think I'll uh, pause the recording since this battery's running down yeah, now as well. I think uh, we're not going to see anything for quite no. a while. We've come really deep into this site now. Yeah. Um, he was just worried about recording in there, but again, there's no, no signage or anything, so... All right. Um, if there's no signage, you, you can't expect you to listen. The signs don't talk when they're not there, do they? No, get no they do not. Anyway, I'm going to pause it. So we'll save some battery. We'll pick this back up in a bit. Okay, so um, that's been Hinkley Point with me, TGA, and Expose and Educate. Thank you everybody for watching. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, subscribe to Expose and Educate. Check him out. Well, decide if you want to subscribe, you know. <laughs> and we'll, uh, we'll see you all in the next video. TGA out.